It's something you have no doubt heard about, seen on TV perhaps, or maybe even know someone who is a hoarder. Tonight, News First 5, Jessica Rowe introduces us to a self-proclaimed hoarder, a man facing numerous zoning violations in Colorado Springs. We have multiple views in this story tonight. Thank God that's not me. But then you look around here, I look around here and say, gee, what am I going to do? Unless you slowed down enough to see the site while driving by. By my count, the place should be condemned. Or have the view from above that economist Fred Crowley has. You might not know that Tom Taylor's $750,000 property is littered with, well, stuff, pieces and parts of his hobby of building and maintaining koi ponds. They'll grow up to uh, 36 inches. The same koi ponds now that looked like this many, many years ago. Now in a much different state, with eight complaints against Taylor, charges of improper accumulation of storage, a $2,000 potential fine. I have shown that I'm very good at the collecting side, and I have made several not very successful attempts at the um, disposing side. I've yes, a collection, but still classified as hoarding, something rarely talked about, but now front and center with avid followers of shows like A&E's Hoarders. It's interesting. It, it's... Um, the fact that it's a collection, trash or rubbish. One of Taylor's obsessions, he compares to going to a bar, but alcohol, that's not his vice. Instead, it's thrift store shopping and the adrenaline rush of finding that next great bargain. The house next door with million dollar views. Well, some may say it is a bargain at $650,000, but it's been so much of a challenge to sell with a direct view of Taylor's clutter that the sign may still be up, but the house is off the market. The people that showed the house, same thing, same thing. Obviously, the junk next door in most of their comments were, you know, it's an issue. It's a big issue. Taylor's family trust purchased the property so long ago, he's not even subject to homeowners covenants just required to meet city code. All of us in this community are bearing the costs of this very messy environment down there. I'm moving forward in the direction I can as fast as I can, but it's still a challenge to um, look the way they should. He has seen mental health experts. When my diagnosis was changed from adult ADD to OCD or obsessive compulsive with hoarding tendencies, I was introduced to a very uh, prominent and successful um, doctor, a uh, therapist, but at $120 an hour, that gets pretty expensive. It becomes a real battle because they're very afraid to let go. They're overwhelmed by it. There's a lot of shame, but it's just a very, very difficult process to engage change in. Taylor's goal, a long-term solution, but in the short term, he has just a few weeks to get the place cleaned up or face a fine of $2,000. Taylor knows he has no choice but to change his ways. I'm looking to start a whole new life to come the first of the year. So In Colorado Springs, Jessica Rowe, News First 5. News First 5 frequently interviews Fred Taylor, or Fred Crowley, I should say, for his perspective on the economy. However, as part of full disclosure here, Crowley did not come to us with this story. We discovered he was the homeowner next door during our investigation. We'll let you know what happens with Taylor's court case.